Hey yo, welcome back to the Battlefield everyone. I'm your host Monk and we're playing Star Wars Destiny on Tabletop Simulator. Today we are hosting some Padawan story with Sugi Ooh. from the Knights of Wern. How are you, man? Uh, I'm doing well. How about yourself? Too much fun as always, man. You already know. Oh. <laughs> well, first off in general, thank you so much for coming on, man. Truly appreciate it. Yeah, you're very welcome. It's a pleasure to be here and I'm super excited to play the new Mill. Mill, Mill, Mill. So good. So delicious. You see my face right now? You can't see it, but I'm just... <laughs> I can imagine it. I'm, I'm so <laughs> excited about this match. It's okay. Like, there's there's going to be a lot of aggro decks that are going to make Mill just... They're going to have to work for it. It's never free. Right. All right. So tell me a little bit about yourself, man, before, before we get any, anywhere. Yeah, if you've never listened to the Knights of Ren, we're a podcast and we talk about Star Wars Destiny. Uh, there's four guys. We've been friends for a long time and we just get together every week. We talk about the games. We talk about the meta. We talk about strategies. And our, our biggest approach is to make this game as accessible as humanly possible to every level of player. So if you're brand new, if you're experienced, if you're like this is your first game ever or you're an ex magic pro like we want to be entertaining but also informative at the same time so we don't focus on any one aspect of the game we just try and focus on as many as humanly possible and you know make it relevant and interesting so we're not just you know talking out of our butts but our biggest goal really is to just community build because you know without a community there is no game so we love this game we think it's amazing but we also think that the people are just way more important because you know, after a tournament, you can hang out with your friends. You can't hang out with your cards at the Waffle House and get some lunch. Like, that just doesn't work. <laughs> you, you you have a huge point. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't take your, your cards out and just be like, hey, cards, you want to go to, like, Burger King, get some food and talk about the game? Yeah, totally, man. Like, well, that, that... you so can do that, but that's just a whole different story. That's I just... <laughs> mean, you could, but you shouldn't. You That's awesome, man. But uh, they can find you on the YouTubes and the, the Twitches and stuff, too, or no? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can find us at uh, the Knights of Ren podcast or KOR podcast. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Uh, our biggest location is Facebook. That's where we post pretty much everything. But, yeah, if there's a social media outlet, we are definitely there. And like I said, we're just here to hang out, have fun, talk to people, make friends. Also play Destiny. That that's oh oh yeah that too. thing. <laughs> but no, thank you so much for coming on, man. Like I've been following you guys for the longest time, and again, you're like it's weird. Like all these people that are, are hitting me up or getting back with me, and it's like these are the idols, the people that I used to like literally like listen to or watch hours on end, and it's uh, humbling, I guess. You know what I say? So not bad. I mean, it's good to have more content creators. Like we're just we're just four dudes. Where, <laughs> like, there's there's nothing unique or special about that. We just talk about the game and have fun. Like, we want more people to join in and make content, make videos, like, talk on podcasts. It's an open environment for anyone and everyone. That's, I mean, it's one of the big reasons we have Project Holonet. Like, we're helping um, Destiny Versus get off the ground. We're helping the Knights, uh, or not the Knights, uh, Sons of Mandalore get off the ground. Like, if you're watching this and you're like, hey, I want to do a podcast, we'll help you. I want to do a video cast, we'll help you with that too. Like there should absolutely be no barrier of entry for anyone who's interested and we want to help bridge that gap and this is why huge reason why i love this community so much so it's all about us building the community as a whole we're not divided we're not trying to like trash talk each other that type of thing everyone has their niches i got it but we're all at the end of the day always trying to help each other which is freaking fantastic so yeah if you guys I mean, are not watching this this is your very first star wars destiny content get into it now okay <laughs> <laughs> where it's the force is about to come out or it's already out by the time this video is so Probably, um yeah. get on it get in a draft just take it full force and go with it all right oh my god we talk way too much man do it do it do it order 66 <laughs> all right so i need a mulligan still i think i'm gonna mulligan four oh i i'm i've done my mulligan i'm fine with these uh cards in my hand they seem very Delightful. <laughs> oh, great. Uh huh. All right, let's roll some dice. Yeah, let's do it. I got a oh. good two. Oh, ooh, I, uh, ooh, uh, yeah. Mm. What's your battlefield? Uh, Get a Obi shield. Wants, uh, Since that's going to help you so much. 
Yeah, we'll take mine. You can have two shields. I'm just going to just change this out with no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let me get my shielded. Um, sure. Okay. Ready Why not? All right. So my first action, I'm going to play Scout on Leia for one resource. <laughs> yep, not intimidating. Not... Go ahead and pay, oh, steal your battlefield. Uh, pay two, showed up. Oh, that, that's a thing. All right, I'm gonna activate Senor Cassian, roll his dice. And that's bad, all right. That can, is perfect for me, I'll take it. I can deal with that. Hey. All right. All right, little Someone's Ezra, you're coming up in the world. Someone's about to get punched in the face. <laughs> Let's roll Leia. It's my next action. All right. All right, Sugi, start with the probing oh. questions time. All right, that's that's a much better roll. I like that. How did you get into this this jazz, man? Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, three three discard. It's real. Oh, is that is that it? Okay, it's good. It's good. So how'd you get uh, into uh, Star Wars Destiny, I, Mario? I got into Destiny when the game was announced on the FFG site, and everyone was really interested. All right, I'm going to take three out of your hand. So let's shuffle, 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 shuffle. Let's see what we get. Discard a random card. There's one. Where did it go? Oh, it goes to the corner here. Okay, two, three. Aha! Damn. I'm, I'm fine with that. All right, anyways, back to you. <laughs> Uh, so we got the announcement. It was like, what the heck is this? It's a Star Wars card game. And I'm like, cool. I like Star Wars card games. They seem mm -hmm. fun. So. Four. Let's see. It was a two, one, and a, four? a shield. Yeah. yeah. Taking four damage to the face. Um, what shall we do here? I'm going to discard the chance cube. Reroll everything. Don't do it. Oh, I hate you. Oh, wow. This is uber good. Oh, I'm going to do this then. It's fine. Okay. I will, uh, I'll eat a card out of your hand and then use Cassian's effect to eat a card off the top of your deck. Oh. Yep. That's it? Yep, that's it. Two damage? Yep, I'll take two damage. I will then use Leia's power action to remove, uh, well, actually, do I really want to do that? I'm like, I don't have any. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to take a dollar. We'll do that first. Okay. I have an idea here. Um, I'll pass. Passing. No cards. No oh. money. Okay. That's the thing. I'm gonna play this excess freighter here. Nice. For oh. two resources. Got it. So, anyways, um, are you just gonna like pass forever, trying to intimidate me? Pass. Okay. So, anyways, intimidation. We saw <laughs> Yeah, we, we see the announcement, and we're like, okay, what do I feel like doing in this situation? I'll I'm pass. going to pitch this to reroll both of these dice. All right, love you, sweetheart. Ooh, money, uh -huh. or money, damage. All right, okay. uh, but that is two damage. Uh, no, that's, that's two, two cards, mil. yeah. Yep. I'll power action, get one card. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm going to use Leia's power action to take two cards off the top of your deck. Oh. No. Oh, yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, no, I'll claim. Okay. I will resolve this to deal two indirect damage to you. Uh, one and one. Sure, that's fair. And we'll go to the next round. Yay. So I'll draw four, gain two. Oh, that's killer. You have 17 cards left? Wow, you're just... That's fast. 
Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for bringing that up. That's, no, I'm kidding. That's real. That's real fast. All right, pay one. Yep. Uh, give up to two of your blue shields. You may activate those characters in the order of your choice. That's that's the thing you're doing. All right. It's so stupid. It's really good. Um. Holy moly! So talking about wow, that seems bad. Is okay, destiny so... in general? Are you going to be going to any store champ soon? Yeah, there's a couple in Texas I'm going to be going to after I move. Let's see. You're going to deal three damage to Cassian. So let's roll him out real quick, just in case. Okay. Come on, okay. Smalls. Yep, I'm okay with that. Go ahead. Synchronicity, two damage. Ooh, let's see. Uh... So Cassian's dead. Let's use Leia's power action and take two cards off the top of your deck. All right. So uh, what do you think of the meta that Way of the Force is bringing? Well, I think Way of the Force... Uh, oh, I definitely want to finish uh, at, you're answering your question. So we found out... That, <laughs> yeah, it's it's always funny because people are like, hey, can you answer questions while playing a mill deck? I'm like, I can. And then they always present these complex situations. I'm like, yeah, that's... That's tricky business. Yeah. Um, I would like to do a thing here. What I want to, I'm gonna put a chance cube on Leia. So, <sighs> uh, anyways, we saw it on Gen Con. We didn't really think the game would be anything special. Maybe it was even crazy because it's like dice and cards. What the heck is this garbage? And then, um, are you rerolling? I am. Okay. So it's just kind of like, well, oh, this great. seems this seems really bad. Uh, all right, let's roll Leia. I'm gonna eat a resource to pay for the chance cube. Got it. Scooby Doo. That's what I was like thinking, like right when you're about to play this. I'm like, this is gonna be interesting. Ooh, yeah, it it's a little like mentally intensive because you have to, you know, three resources feels good. You have to pull <laughs> a lot of stuff and consider, you know, what's what. Yeah. So anyways, we saw the game. We weren't really impressed. It came out at Gen Con. Uh, Team Covenant did a review. We read the rules and we're like, this could be interesting. And then we saw... Okay, re-rolling the one and the one. Yes. The, yeah, okay. Sure. That's fine. Yep, that one. Okay. I will absolutely take $3. <laughs> Three. I'll discard the re-roll. Eh, that's not bad. Um, I'm going to play Streetwise for one. Got it. Go ahead. Before you so play anyways, over. The, the oh. game finally, you know, got the rules and we started to figure out stuff. Three really? to Leia. Yeah, I didn't see my good removal, so I'm probably going to lose this game. All right, roll out the freighter. Perfect. Go ahead. What's the special do on that thing again? I put two resources on it, or I may take two re all resources off of it. That's always I nice. Take, I may take one additional action. Oh, it has ambush. Completely forgot about that. Oh, we missed it. That's okay. I love how a stock freighter has ambush. Right? And you, you resolve it, and it has basically ambush built into the special. <laughs> uh, I'm going to power action. Sure. Draw a card. Yep. All right. I'm going to put two resources on there. And that, that, oh, sorry. It's all right. Two resources on there. I'm like, you took my then card. I'm, then I'm going to take an additional action. I'm going to pitch this to reroll Leia. Don't do it. Okay, perfect. I love how the one is backwards on this. Do you see this? Oh, I, I do. That's interesting. I discard to reroll. Okay. Give me it. Okay. Apparently, Ezra wants to mill today. I'm going to put a shield on Leia. 
Okay, yeah, I'll do the damage. And then I will claim and heal one damage off of me. Sounds good. I will mill you, good sir. Okay. I'll just think. Yep. Hey! It's a hyperspace jump. Alright, and that's it for me. Yep. One, two... Let's see, five resources feels real good right now. All right, let's draw four cards. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I'm. I see you. Oh no. <laughs> so out of the whole set, that's out of the whole set. My favorite card from oh, Red no. right now. Suppressive fire. So this is basically a counter spell. Uh, after a character is activated, I can spend one dollar, discard the support from play to remove one of its character's die. That is nice. So I get to respond to you at, like during your turn. Well, I'll okay. let you. So which are you activating first? Because I'm going to activate Ezra first. Ezra first. Okay. Let's see what you get. Um... Hold on, let me see here. You have four cards in hand. I promise I will answer your questions. Oh, it's all right. Um, we That's got what... plenty of time. <laughs> we got plenty of time to play these games. Let's see. I can only target character dice, though. So I'm going to not do anything with Ezra. So let's right. see what Luke does. Hopefully you'll get a two shield, and I can just pop it off. Yep, I'll take the two off. There so I'm goes. going to sacrifice this and spend one dollar. Awesome! Done. That felt good. I bet it did. That it did feel good. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to play. I don't know what I'm going to play. I'm going to roll out Leia. I'm going to pay one resource for the chance cube. Got it. And then I'm going to proceed to go back to the question at hand. <laughs> Uh, after I roll big poo poos. Okay. Backwards one. Discard. Let's see. That's three damage showing. Let's see. What can I do? Okay. I'm going to do some things here. I'm going to do shenanigans. Oh, no, not shenanigans. I'm going acti to activate Streetwise. Got it. So I'm going to decrease the cost of this event by one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Rebel for free. Got it. Then I'm going to bring back the Counterspell. Oh, for Zero. Actually, uh, I might hyperspace you right here. Up to you. Nah, nah, it's it's not it's not worth it right now. So I'll I'll pull back suppression fire. Got Go it. Go ahead. All right, I will synchro you. Okay, so I go to four. Uh huh. Um. I'll eat a card out of your hand at random. So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. No Discard card. Okay. Um, let's go do the three. Okay, so I go to seven. I would like to I'm gonna roll out the excess. Do, 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 do. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, nice! Okay. I got thing. nine cards. It's going to be a lot less here pretty quickly. Oh, I, I, I believe it. I pay one unbreakable that. The excess? Yes. Okay. Um, going to spend one resource to play Scrap Heap. Always noise. Power action. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to use Leia's power action to mill a card off the top of your deck, and then I will activate Scrap Heap to make a resource back. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead and take the good old monies. Mm. I'll pitch hyperspace to reroll. Ooh. Perfect. That is All nice. Right. Play it or lose it. Fine. I overwrite. Jodo. Yeah, that's fine. I will take but then resources. I get a resource because this is built to last. Each of your unique, after you play unique upgrade, yep, that's a thing. So I'll gain two dollars, go to five. Got it. And then get rid of the shuttle die so I don't cheat. And then <laughs> I will claim. Yeah. And heal right. this and heal this damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey. That's fine. I'm done too. All right. So I have seven resources. Feels good. Yeah, you know, it's four you, cards. You don't have enough resources. <clears throat> oh my god. How many cards you got? Two, five in your hand. Okay. I should. Ancient. Okay. Go Ezra. Go Ezra. Go. All right. So the question at hand. <laughs> Ancient. All right, in response, I'm going to play my second Suppressive Fire. Oh, I swear to God. Aha. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to activate Ezra. Okay. Ooh. Would you like to remove either one of these? Man. You know what? Yes, I will get rid of your discard. Uh, discard for a dollar. I will do one, good sir. Okay, so I go to eight. Oh uh, man, this is tricky. Gonna activate Leia. Pay a dollar for the chance cube. Got it. All right, what was the question? Oh, I honestly completely forgot. <laughs> but no, so uh, oh! let's, let's segue. Let's segue into this. So what okay. do you... Uh, since you got you love playing Mill so much, why, why are you so fascinated with Mill? Uh, because it's non-linear. Oh, okay. And if you... I also, I play control decks in... Oh, did you kill me? I did. Yep, I figured as much. I figured you had the riposte in hand. Ooh, so good. Good game. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it. I I didn't draw any of my removal until that hand, like that. I was like spotty yellow character. I'm like, oh well, that's not good. I was so freaking out just because of the fact that I had like no upgrade. <laughs> so I'm like, um, we'll we'll see how this goes. I don't I don't know. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, so, so Mill intrigues me because, like, I've played a ton of card games. Like, I play Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Magic. Like, all those card games are definitely things that I've done before. So, like, I've definitely played the aggro decks and, you know, red deck wins and all that. And that, that just does not intrigue me as a player because, especially with, like, red deck wins and Magic, it's traditionally just a base race so it's like hey i if i can get my my burn spells faster and my hasty creatures faster i just win and it's not uncommon for a meta to be like if red deck wins is popular like it is right now in magic uh -huh. a lot of people play it and so you sit down and you're like oh okay so it's not nearly as tactical as it is who gets the better draw because you're just throwing as much as you can as fast as you can at the opponent uh-huh so ever since i learned how aggro decks work like i've just been very disinterested in them because they don't they i got gotcha. you i want them to do i'm completely with you my friend like that's why like i always have like i have a yoda where i can know myself 
um, like made just for me to get out of that aggro mode. <laughs> yeah. So since Destiny is primarily aggressive in just the way it's been built, and as much as I like the game, it's like, I want to play something that's not aggressive. I want to play something that's weird. I want to play something that's unique. And Mill was the really the only option, which I was like, okay, that's it's rare for a card game to just introduce Mill right off the bat because a lot of people, it has the stigma of being a negative play experience. But the thing is, once you know how to beat a Mill deck, it's it's not a very negative play experience. It's just, can you do it? Yeah. Like mill, mill decks aren't impossible to beat. If people are like, man, they're still so NPE, it's like, well, they that is a fair opinion. Like you may not like having your options removed, but that's just what control decks do. Like it's not mill specifically doing that. It's control variants of card games. Because all card games are generally based around the um the trifecta of aggro, mill, and mid-range. So any good card game should have one of each deck type in their meta. So that way you've got rock, paper, scissors. What did you roll here? Four? Yeah, I got a four. I six, so I'll, I'll go first. Man, these dice are so good. Stop doing it. Stop My it. My leg. My leg. <laughs> Stop it. Deal with it, mother. Uh, All right. Let's go one so and one this my, time. My first action is going to be suppressive fire. Oh, I so swear to God. Have fun with that. Okay, sure. Yeah, pretty sure Suppressive Fire is going to be like the, you know, $10 uncommon from the set. Yep, Angel oh. Lightsaber. Angel Lightsaber, that, that's a thing. All right, I'll activate Cassian. Oh my Cassian gosh. Dice. Gee golly, Willikers. All right, all right. I like these things. That, that, that's pretty good. That's real good, that's real good, that's real good. Would you like to do this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do... Suppressive on your turn. And then I'm gonna wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Other other one. The blank. Oh, you want the blank on? Because I'm gonna hit you with easy pickups. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So. Nothing. You don't you don't get anything, sir. Nothing. Nope. Unless you were like double, double two twos, shooting. yeah. <laughs> hey oh, okay. Right. That works. Alright, I'm gonna use Leia's power action to mill two cards off the top of your deck, please. In motor. Guard. Two. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do two to Cassian. Sure. In response, I will mill a card out of your hand at random and mill a card off the top of your deck, please. Sounds good. One off. All right, and discard a card at random. No! Yeah. There's that There's that Ray Saber. Sorry. Right. Um, let's go ahead and get another card. All right, I'll activate Leia. Okay. Go, Leia, go. Roll dice, move my... Oh! Yes. Double Please. discard coming out. Feels bad. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of Force Illusion since that's gonna do well. Right. One resource. I'll take two cards out of your hand at random. All right. So let's shuffle. Random one, random two. No. Ah. There it is. All right. Go ahead. I'll get, I'll get a money. I will claim and heal up Cassian. Sounds good to me. That was a really good thing on your side. Really yeah, good turn. I, I think so. All right. For my first action, I will very much play the Scrap Heap for one resource. I'll pay two good, sir, for Shoto. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. Let's... I'll activate Cassian. Roll him out. Got it well, again. One is one, so. Very, very good. And I got a whole lot of uh, duty. You got booty. All right, I'm going to eat a card out of your hand at random and take a card off the top of your deck. Okay. Let's see what we get. Boop. No, well, it doesn't matter for that one to be honest. Well, I mean, that, that's technically damage. Yeah, I'm like, it, yeah, ish. Oh, I will proc Scrap Heap to make a resource. That's fine. That's Your turn. Uh, all right, I so roll out the Luke. Easy pickings? We'll get rid of your blanks. Blanks are gone. Get rid of Heightened Awareness to re-roll these ones. Not, not too much this time. Leia no. will activate. 
I will roll her out with these numbers here. Nothing great. Not great. I'm going to synchro casting. Okay, so he goes to three. He does. Hmm. Take a resource. Hmm. Oop. Go ahead. Let's do three more to casting. He goes to six. Play Annie's Padreser. Ooh, nice. I just realized I don't have the die for that. Oh, no. Let me see, uh, let me see if we can do this in speed time here. Uh, nope. 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 Oh, wait. That's, that's Annie. Annie. Nope. 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 Oh, wait. Nope. What's Dark Saber. Nope. Dark Saber. Uh, what's that? Nope. This this is a stupid good die. The Vibro Vancers or whatever. Yeah. One drop. Bounces itself. And Wait, it has what's no misses. No, that's the, the blaster rifle. Oh, gotcha. The three drop. It's pretty good. Can we find it? No, okay. Van, Van Bracers. That's, that's what it's called. So when you open up... Uh, uh, did you pre-order our boxes already? Uh, not yet. Because I don't currently have a new address. For, oh, yeah, because um, you're moving to Texas very soon, right? Yeah, I'm moving in two days. So oh, okay. We, we have a couple places we're looking at. Uh, that's the Bulbas. I've got family we're staying with for a couple days until we get everything settled. So there's Cassian. Oh, my God. Come of on. course, you're going to choose one that they don't have. No, it should it should be in here. Oh, my gosh. There's 17 left. I mean, the card is literally in the deck. So the die should there's the Bulba. There you are, there you are, there you are. All right, now we're going to carefully... Lean all this up. Okay, get rid of the deck. Get rid of the deck bag. This Cassian blank is mine. Very, very carefully. Yeah, individually deleted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, all right, back to your question about Mill. So the reason I picked Mill is... Being a non-linear deck, it's it's much, much more difficult to pilot. You have to earn your wins. Does this have ambush in it too? Oh, it does. All my vehicles have ambush. Oh, so delicious. No, it's not, right. it's not delicious, man. Roll roll that out. Get a oh, get a discard. Yes, please. Can Unbreakable. You, ah, you well, I mean Yeah, that's double. It, I'm fine. It basically did what I wanted it to do. Did you draw a card already with Ezra? Uh yes. Okay, I need to get so the token out. Let me get the token. You can't draw. Out. You can't reroll. You're just gonna do nothing. Um, discard to reroll these. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that is really delicious. That's not good for me. Uh, I guess I'll get a. I'll get a resource. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'm gonna use Leia's power action to mill two cards off the top of your deck. Yep, not liking this. What did I get? Uh, overconfidence and a force illusion. That's Meh. sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll claim. Okay. I'm going to resolve this to discard zero cards from your hand and mill a card off the top of your deck. Caution. Boop. That's a thing. Um, let's see here. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything else I want to do. Okay, I'm done. I'll pass. Oh, is that? Is, are you sure? You sure you want to get five more cards off my deck? Maybe I I'm all I'm all tapped out. So oh. yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, mill mill intrigued me because it's the only legitimately viable form of control. Like there's like other janky things you can do, but they're not like control decks per se. They're just cards that do control things. Gotcha. So. Mill has been very, very intriguing to me. Um, oh, my. Oh, 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 man. Look at this. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, TTS. You're such a great, oh, great individual, this, you. This. That, that has happened. Oh, my goodness. Feel your anger? No. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. That was, if Heroes had that, I would totally do it. I'm going to roll casting out. Whew. That is so real. That is funny. Let's roll out this guy to hopefully recover from this. Okay. So, uh, eh. showing. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. That is that is fun. <laughs> uh, I don't 
Let's see. So what keeps you going for podcasting? Ah, an excellent question. I will, um, I'm going to do a thing here. I'm going to reroll Cassian. The The biggest reason I like podcasting is I just, ah, perfect. I get to hang out with my buddies, get to talk about a game I love, and there's just a lot of people who, uh-oh, overconfidencing. Here we go. Stop being so overconfident, man. Get rid of the blank. All right, I will use uh, Leia's power action to mill no. two cards off the top of your deck, and then I'll use Scrap Heap to gain a resource. Okay. I discard Force Illusion to reroll all four of these horrible blank dice. Okay. Oh, I'm look. Hyperspace jump you, so don't worry about that. Okay. So, oh, oops, my hyperspace jump is. Falling off the edge of infinity. Fair. Oh, there it is. It went into the in the bag. Ah, got you. So it's removed from the game. So I gotta. Oh yeah, huh? So I had to put off this so board state. I pay two, but I start the the turn with uh two resources. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need to put some of these cards somewhere. I'll just draw two. So yeah, what keeps me going with podcasting is just the ability to. I mean, I I want to make a difference in the community. Like, I want to give people the opportunity and chance to play this game, feel safe in an environment that's fun and enjoyable. Oh, did you activate already? I did. It's all right. Keep talking. Keep talking. You're good. Five damage. Um, all right. I'm going to do this new card. Blaze of Glory. For one resource, I'm going to activate one of my characters and deal five damage to Leia and remove those uh, damage dice that are showing. Yeah, the new then, OP Guardian. Yeah, super, super duper Guardian. And then I'll obviously roll her dice. Oh, yeah. So bad. Super bad is muy bad. So good. All right. Um... Bouge moi. Yeah, that's right. Why not? Uh, so, anyways, back to the question at hand. Pod- podcasting is just a lot of fun. It's oh, that's a dead casting. That's four ten. Well, there is not much I can do about that. So killer. I'll activate uh, Anakin. <laughs> nice. Right. That's a thing. Yep. Cass. Cass is dead. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. He... And then I will resolve this extra shield. To put it on Ezra. Oh, sure. I'll uh, discard a card from your hand and mill a card off the top of your deck. One is getting milled off the top. And you got to choose whatever one you want. Discard. Whoa! No! Yeah, the kill spell. Oh. Um. Hmm. Decisions. Right? Power action. Draw card. Yep, that's the thing. I'm gonna put Scrap Heap 2 on the table. (laughs) Scrap Heap number 2. Hey, do. Shoto? Yep. Oh, I just realized I haven't been... Oh, well, whatever. Oh, you haven't been doing your Shoto activations? It's all right. No worries. <laughs> this is why right. This is why it's a friendly game. That's how nerve-wracking let's, it is going against you, man. Let's re-roll these. Oh, that's... That's high praise. Thank you. Aha! Yes, perfect. Stop it. Hey, one. Bueno. Unbreakable, yep. your two discard. I will use my power action to take two cards off the top of your deck and make two resources from Scrappy. Ow. Ow. Go ahead. Um... Yeah, claim. Okay, perfect. I will attach Scout for one. Nice. And then I will end my turn and just take three resources in total, so... 
All right, let's draw four cards. Boop. I will get rid of this one and get three. Okay. This is going to be an interesting turn. I'm not going to lie. Let's see. Oh. All right. All right, Ezra. You're blank. All right. <sighs> Man, I'm just so excited. By the time, but by the time this posts, I think Wave Force is gonna be out. But I'll activate Leia. Man, I can't wait for it. Um, doing a release I'm, I'm thing. I'm really excited too. What happened? I said I'm really excited too. Man. Like Wave way, way of the Force has a lot, a lot of options. Like really good options. It really does. Uh, troll out the old man. Okay. This, this stick. All right. Uh, uh, focus and uh, resource. Okay. I love the fact that I've not used this like once this game. I know, right? I'm gonna reroll entrenched. I'm probably gonna get rid of that card. It's just not doing anything for me here. Oh, nice. Leia. Leia. Oops. No, that's too focus. All right. Before you do anything to do any of stuffs in the things, I'm gonna need power action. Yeah, draw a card. I get two cards. You do get two. Oh. Well. I get three. Yeah, because I have three upgrades. That is an interesting turn of events. I will use this to flip this into a discard. Yep, the two discard. Oh, no. And yeah, the two, the two discard. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wait. And then the special here. Go okay. Ahead. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play lightning rod on Luki, and then bank a resource so I get only cost one. You paid two, right? Huh? Yeah. You so I so I have three. Yeah. So I paid. Okay. Yeah, paid two, and then paid got two. one back. Okay. Built the last. What what could be in your hand? Let's see here. All right, I'm gonna go into your hand and uh let's see what you got. I get to pick the lowest cost thing you've got. Oh, We'll get rid of the synchronicity for sure. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, I haven't seen what else you have. I'm, I'm just looking for a specific, like, key pieces in your hand. All right, let's see. You've got motive, lightsaber, awareness, guard, lightsaber. Okay, uh, I'm good. That's, that's good to know. Yeah, so I... Uh... I forgot the activations again, so I, I put a freaking shield here. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. Um, so you can't synchronicity. I mean, that's that's important. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and discard. What should I do? What should I do? Yeah, you know what? I should have done it last turn, but I didn't do it. So I'm gonna guard away your two. Okay. Uh, we'll use Annie's Pod Racer. Okay. That's the thing. I'm going to discard Heightened Awareness to reroll all of these. Okay. That's a whole lot of awesomeness right there. That's that's not much. Um, I'm going to get rid of this to reroll Annie. Boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to... Focus to the three. I have thoughts about that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to ambush. So I'm going to play in the crosshairs. Choose a symbol and then remove any number of dice showing that symbol. So I'm going to choose melee. Great. 
And then with my ambush action, I'm going to... What do I want to do? Yeah, that's that's what I want to do. I'm going to pitch this to reroll. Okay. Nothing. Go Perfect. Ahead. All right, so I'm going to pitch the reroll as well. Um, I guess hidden motive, sure. Hey. Hey, that's a thing. All right, I'm going to pitch rebel to reroll this. I guess I'm supposed to choke you. I'll do the two. So I go to seven. I'll eat a resource from you. Resource goes away. I'm going to go ahead and claim. <clears throat> okay. And that's it for me. Oh, it's a close game. This is one close game, man. I'm sweating. Let's see here. That's, that's wise. All right, so let's go ahead and... Roll out Ezra. Hmm. Yeah, roll out Ezra. Damage, mm. damage. Oh, this was a one. Damage, so three, three damage yeah. over there. You don't have lethal. I do not. Uh, let's roll Leia. Oh, there it is. Hoop, hoop, hoop. That's killer. Yep, that's that's a thing. <clears throat> can you roll damage? You Let's roll out. Can. Yeah, all right. Hey. Oh, sticks. Is there anything I can do about that? Uh. Wish I had one more resource, because then I could, but... No, I, I can't kill you. Cannot do it. So I have a Rebel in my hand. Yeah. I the one extra resource I would have pulled out the... Uh, yeah. In the crosshairs, because that card's just way too good. It's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. So... Oh, dun, we have dun, the deck here, so I can, actually, I can make adjustments here. That's nice. Okay. So I'm going to swap out some cards that are very much underperforming. I wondered if they would or wouldn't, so... So good, man. Thank you so much for the match. Oh, you're welcome. I am all about testing and playing. All right, so let's see. We're going to pull out an Entangle. <laughs> yeah, you have yeah, a lot like... of high-costed cards in that deck. Yeah, I need some lower-cost events which would be also i'm probably i'm getting rid of chance cube i'm not really loving that card i don't know the chance cube well you have the focus right i don't have, have focus, I don't have focus now this could be a three discard it's a big if well i mean like three off the top i mean no no it's it's got to be a character die oh it's character die never mind it's okay you know, if that was the case, yes, I absolutely would be running. <laughs> You're like, yes, please. Oh, yeah, I would be running way more of that. Oh, my gosh. So, Tsugi, is there anything else you want to say to the Destiny community? <laughs> well, man, I feel bad. We were supposed to have all these rapid-fire questions. I didn't answer hardly any of them. Oh, it's all right, man. I had a great time, dude. That's all that matters, right? Well, now, now that I'm not actually in the midst of playing a game, I'd be more than happy to... <laughs> <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm, like, rebuilding the deck. <laughs> um, yeah, for, for the community, I just want to say, like, get out there and play games. Um, it's really easy for, you know, any kind of personality to say, oh, this card is good, oh, this deck is good. You should play it. And they're probably right. You should probably play it if you want to play competitively. But if there's like a deck you want to play or there's a character you want to try out, like absolutely do that. I, I cannot over explain how like this is a game for everyone. No, no one person, no one individual should have so much leeway that they're just like the only voice of the game. And if you've got a local meta, you should absolutely play towards your local meta. Like, that's how Boba 7th was discovered, was um, 
I can't I think it's Mitchell, Mitchell Brantley. He needed well, he was wanting to play Boba and Phasma, but he didn't have a Phasma. So he just put the seventh sister in. And the rest is history. It's a very popular deck. It's a very explosive deck. And it came from a little bit of exploratory deck building. And I he just didn't have a card. So he put something else in and it happened to be really successful. Nobody had that deck on their radar. Like absolutely no one. And I think it's really cool that, you know, fun creative mistakes can indeed happen where you're like, hey, I was uh, not anticipating this, but it works. So, you know, if you're listening and you're like, man, I don't really know. I want to play this card, but I don't know if it's competitive. Just play the card. Have fun with it. If you discover, like, it's not competitive, then that's fine. That's a healthy discovery. But, like, the purpose of playing games is to play games. So the one thing I tell everyone I meet is play what you love, even if it's not competitive. Like, there's, I, I don't know how to explain it other than, like, it's, it's a game. Like, you don't have to be competitive. You just want to have fun. That's the whole point of gaming is having fun, meeting people and memories, experiences, stuff like that. So, you know, there's there's going to be a lot of testing coming up here in these next few weeks. There's a lot of unexplored territory. So have fun. Try new cards. Try old cards. Try weird cards. Try things you may think don't work. And if you find out they definitely don't work, then okay, you're right. They don't work. But sometimes you find like, like I found Rebel because I, I did an interview and someone was saying, like, Rebel's really good. It does a lot of work. And it does. And it was not on my radar. It's not really on anybody's radar. And after World, it's like, hey, Rebel, you got to respect that card, especially now, <laughs> like, Cassian and Leia. It's, it's a thing that's going to be very, very powerful. And I think people are going to start to find a lot of cards coming out that they're going to have to learn about and go, wow, that's a thing. Like, it needs to be respected. It needs to be... Um, like you need to be aware of it. So, yeah, uh, that's what I would say to anyone who's like listening, who's thinking about getting into Destiny, or um, who's like, "What do I do?" It's like just play, have fun. Yeah, if if that's just not available in your local community, like you can always get on TTS. Like we've got plenty of people on the Knights of Rent like Discord who would be more than happy to play a game with you. You can do exploratory deck building. You can try out new things. I mean, I'll play with you. Just send me a message. I. I'm going to be busy moving like the next couple of weeks, but afterwards, like, yeah, send me a PM, be like, Hey, I want to try this out. And I'll be like, well, let me figure out what my schedule is and we can, you know, do something or, you know, anyone else in the discord, we've got like almost 2000 people. We've got a lot of people willing to play games. So we, <laughs> we're all here to play. Let's play. I love it, man. I love the community. I love the Knights of Rain community as well, man. They have a whole abundance of freaking people, just like he's saying on his discord. So highly suggest that you guys uh, go to it. I have the link in the <laughs> description below too, just so you guys can get to it. Yeah. So yeah, thank you, thank you very much. This this was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm hoping we can maybe play some more after the recording because I want to test out some other ideas. But this this game is really cool. This game is really neat. It has a lot of things that are very new, very different, and I I absolutely think that exploring those design spaces that the the designers have given to us it's really going to be different with way of the forest because we're going to have six sets no five sets available yep we're, we're going to have a ton of characters obviously some characters are better than others like there is not a like flat line across the board of like all characters are even and all characters are playable but there are combinations i think that are going to be unexplored and someone listening might find it and then they might have you know the big new meta deck just because they tried it and i think that's that's going to be fun we're going to see more people come in more decks emerge more strategies emerge more mm. player growth because it's like there's so much to account for like you really have to start doing your homework like with awakenings it's only one set with the way of the forest there's five sets so you have to be aware of the colors you have to be aware of their staples you have to be aware of their tech cards you have to be aware of what they might be running one ofs there's a lot to consider, and that's going to make the player base a lot better overall. And that means the games are going to be more interesting, the player skill gaps are going to be smaller, and you're going to see a lot better Destiny overall. I just can't wait for it. I just can't wait till July 5th. It's probably going to air like after afterward, but still. <laughs> <laughs> but I just can't wait uh, to get that nice piece of cardboard in my hands and be able to roll those dice. 
Yeah, old man Luke's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That that's a nasty deck you have. I like it. It's it's stupid rampy, but it's it's crazy. I didn't even realize like how much I don't really use this because I depend on old cards. So maybe some rework to be done. Yeah, you're not really using the build to last, which I find interesting. Like, there's probably a better way to utilize those points. Yeah. Maybe like profitable. That's what I'm thinking as well. But we will see. But thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Truly appreciated. This has been a Padawan story with Sugi from the Knights of Bren. Hello. <laughs> if you guys like this type of content, uh, if you guys like Star Wars Destiny content, tabletop simulator content, Knights of Bren content, please hit a like, comment, or like on this video. Comment below. Tell us what you liked about it, you didn't like about it. And uh, see you guys next time on the Padawan story. Have a good one. Everyone. Don't say mill. Don't say mill. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>